Hey everyone, uh, this is Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts Multiplayer. I'm going to show you how to kill the cheaters in the oil at the oil rig on the arm to the right, right here. Uh, so this is my first area, uh, 400 meters. Uh, aim it just a little bit higher than I have here. Uh, play around with it. But there's, I think there's going to be a total of five. That was the first one. So um, let's go to the second one. Uh, so the 400 meters and 340 meters are the distances uh, you need to remember. So there's one on the helipad, along with the one I just showed you. You go to the H right at the that point there, somewhere around there. Of course, put 400 meters in your Ron B82 sniper rifle. I think it's the last one on the list. And it shoots right over that one beam at the top. So you got to be careful not to hit that, but you'll get used to that. So that's number two. Um, I had a little success with that because um, depending on who's playing, they can shoot through there and kill you, so you have to move back and forth. Okay, here is uh, another quick way to get down. You jump, well, I didn't jump on that crate right in front of me, but that's uh, to avoid losing health. You'd hit that uh, on the crate. You'd jump down the crate. Um, and here's my number one spot. This is number three. Um, you just... Uh, set your scope at 340 and uh, I have more, a more extensive video at the tail end of this I'm just real quick quickly showing you where you need to uh, all the spots where you need to aim but a more extensive full video is after this one uh, right here uh, of course I have it at 400 but it should be at 340 and I'll shoot way over it and realize that. There, 340. And a little bit above, yeah, just right about there. About halfway or a little bit above you need to aim. So if, uh, once you do that, you come over, look to see if there's any enemies over here. Um, that's where they'll come if they, they know you're hanging out. And here's the other one. You shoot right through there. And that's another good spot. And is really close too. And that's at 340 also. So I think there's maybe one more I've tried. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's more in the front. It's more there's one in the front. If you keep going straight, there's another one. But I always always like this area right here cuz not too many people look for you uh at this right in the middle here. Not too many people go here. But you get a good view right between there. They can shoot through the uh boxes. Um, but hopefully you can just sneak a shot in there if they found out all your other um, hiding places. You can do it on this side or move over to the right and you get a little bit more open view. Uh, this, this, this one might be kind of hard to uh, sneak through there. But even though you graze the metal a little bit, it still delivers the bullet to the target, as you can see. Or just, yeah, just move over just a little bit, and that's your placement, uh, and that's it, 360. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's the correct, yeah, I think it's 360. Uh, I forgot about this area. Uh, so it's 340, 360, and 400. So, yeah, that, that looks about to be where your bullet needs to go. So here I'll go to the last place. This one's a little bit more riskier, but I, I originally had success right here. Uh, but there, it's just too wide an opening for them to, you know, they can get a shot 
out on you real quick and you, they've got your whole body to uh to look for and in the meantime uh you can look through the little hole there crack to see if they're there and then move over and then take a shot at them that's how i would do it so uh, there's more of a, a full uh team death match coming up and it's uh, at least one place, one or two places in action where I really eat up a cheater. So stay tuned for that. And I hope this has helped and uh, kill those uh, people who cheat. Uh, have a good one. Hey everyone, this is my ghost, Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts multiplayer how to kill cheaters on the uh, oil rig arms, just like this. And then I'll have a still after, so you can see close up, kind of where I was aiming at the very point I pulled the trigger. Uh, so there's, I think, three really good areas. Um, the two closest uh, is from where I just was. And I'll show you how to get there quickly, um, uh, the two places. Uh, but my favorite one, you'll see most of the time. And I'm going to move to that area right now. Uh, placement is key. Uh, you go by the little guide arm there. And you find your target. And I winged him a little bit. And if he moves, just move with him. Um, other people, there we go. Uh, windage, of course, you can see. Uh, you gotta be careful not to let people get you sighted in with your uh, distance because once they have that figured out, you can die pretty quickly. Uh, I had one guy, uh, I just stayed there in my favorite place and didn't move around. So once once he gets a bead on you, uh, move. Uh, don't let him uh, be able to sight you in because it's pretty tough to hit right through here. I winged him again and fired again. So uh, don't dwell in that if you know he's uh, or the other person is... Uh, aiming at you a lot of times you can see the bullet coming at you the the bright orange or yellow dot so if you see that he's trying to range on you so uh, i would get away move to another spot there is another spot at the end of this video that i've used successfully although it's it, it's you can die a little easier okay here's this other place um and that's a good air place too uh, and it's real close so you just need to move just a little bit and you can fire through those and they can still kill you I suggest you have a um, uh, snowsuit on or something that are not dark colors so you can, and this is my favorite place to jump and get back down and not take any damage and I miss this box and it kind of throws my health down but usually I can hit that box but that's the fastest way to get to this spot right here this is my favorite spot to uh, kill uh, cheaters and make sure that bar that guard railing there is about the height of the uh, where you see it that's kind of how I, I know how to position myself. And then, of course, the crosshairs just go a little bit in the center, just a little bit up. And, of course, take, in, take into account the windage. Uh, a lot of times, once they find out they're there, they'll come over to this arm or to the side there and uh, try to get you there. Uh, that's why the second placement is a little bit more problematic because you got to be sticking out. So you got to make sure that there's no one uh, on that left side that's taking an aim at you. 
Uh, but this one's pretty safe, although even in that area, if someone's on the ground, they can they can uh, snipe you through there. Uh, it's just not very likely. So, yeah, he was shooting at me. Uh, but I got him, I think, five times uh, at the at my favorite area. Uh, but he... he and right here, there's an area too, uh, but they can see pretty quickly and get a good beat on you. But this one's a little hard for them to uh, sight you in. Uh, a lot of players, they won't be able to know exactly the range. Uh, so if they're firing at you just get the heck out of there and don't ever let them kill you there because once they get that range you're toast or you you'll have to dodge move back and forth fire move back and forth and it's not a good dodging doesn't really help your aim much uh, of course you have to have the 50 cal uh anything that gets the 340 range and you'll need one that has the 400 range too uh i haven't tried the sortus t50 um it just has the 100 200 300 400 so uh that's why i like the what is it the the last weapon uh 50 cal uh i think it's the ron b82 the Ron anyway, Ron 50 cal. That's what I'm using here. And I just usually keep this at 340 all through here. There's a Rottweiler trying to get me again. He's a can be a serial cheater. There we go. So I ate him up uh, this round. Uh, usually when you keep hitting them in the cheater spots there's another cheater spot that i might do another video on by the big gray tank of uh liquid whatever uh so look for look for that later uh, right now i'm into death matches uh there's a lot less cheating that can go on on uh, just playing death matches so that's like five or six times I've killed the Rottweiler. He, he, he really doesn't know how to get me other than go to the very end and sight me in or in his cheater spot. So, um, let me see. I think he goes back up there again, maybe, maybe later. Yeah, so I have that bar just about the size of the little container there. There he is. And usually they will move. Uh, but as long as you aim for kind of the shoulder, the head area, in between the shoulder and head area, it should be fine to... Uh, it should at least wound them. And uh, the Ron has a pretty good um, firing time, so usually you can... Uh, get them right away. I'm trying to think if there's any other. Uh, every other place you're pretty much exposed. But this is my favorite spot. You can kind of duck real quick behind the steel if he's firing. That's why it makes a perfect, uh, perfect spot. So, let me see. What else can I tell you? Oh, yeah. Uh, they can shoot. If there's, someone's on the floor, they can shoot uh, right in my favorite spot right here. So, don't dwell and sit here. Uh, just kind of move back and forth. Uh, don't really have your sights um, open and looking and stagnant. Um until you find some somebody crawling up there, then you can uh, aim and fire. 
Yeah, see the Rottweiler got me. And I don't know how because I didn't think I could see uh, see him around in that area. So you're obviously more exposed with your shoulder than what you can see. Okay, here's here's my one area that works sometimes. On the helipad, you go to the H and you can shoot right in between there. Just like that. But you got to be careful not to, you got to kind of aim it. You'll have to try it, but the crosshair should be closer to that one uh, beam to the right. See, I can shoot over the top of that beam, but sometimes it won't let me. It'll hit the top of that beam. But that's where you're aiming for right there. And that's at 400 meters. Hope you've enjoyed the video and keep coming back for more great videos.